Welcome to the 2019 season kickoff show. We're coming to you from the Monster Jam shop where all of our crews have been busy all year round. I'm your host for tonight, Mitchell Rains. And I'm Casey G, and we are so excited to bring you the latest information about Monster Jam. It's been a great year so far in 2018, and there's a lot of excitement building for 2019. That's right. You'll hear about what's ahead for Monster Jam for the rest of this year and into 2019. We still have a lot of great shows on our schedule, and tickets for many of our 2019 shows went on sale today for our preferred customers. If you're not already a preferred customer, just head to MonsterJam.com, look for sign up, and enter the information. You'll receive your special pre-sale code so you can buy those tickets for the best seats today. Before we get started, we want to give you a sneak peek at something new and exciting for 2019. Take a look at these beautiful Monster Jam trucks that we have beside the stage here tonight. Our new toy partner, Spin Master, is helping us develop the authentic Fire and Ice Monster Jam trucks for 2019. These trucks will compete in our stadium elements in a true clash of the elements. Monster Jam fans, will you be a part of Team Fire or Team Ice? That's right, I said team because there will be more than just these two. We'll give you a little more detail on that later in the show. And you'll find out which of your favorite Monster Jam drivers will get the chance to compete with Team Fire or Team Ice. Also tonight, we're going to learn about the tour lineups that promise to provide exciting competition. We'll even get a chance to hear from the drivers about the year ahead. Some of our guests tonight include defending world champions Ryan Anderson and Adam Anderson, Kayla Blood, Bari Musauer, Cody Saucier, and more. This is our third annual season kickoff show, and I think I speak for both of us when I say, I can't wait any longer. So let's get started. Monster Jam has continued to gain worldwide attention as the place for adrenaline-charged family entertainment. In 2018, Monster Jam has been a big part of movie premieres and nationwide television shows, while also getting editorial space in top magazines. There are still 21 cities in the U.S. and Canada that will host a Monster Jam in 2018. Fans have been waiting for these shows, which will feature top-notch competition. We will be visiting Glendale, Arizona on October 6th. We return to Houston on October 20th, where Bro Dozer and, uh, Bro Dozer's Heavy D and Diesel Dave will be competing. And then Monster Jam is back at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis on December 8th. Tickets are on sale now for all of these events, so bring the family and enjoy Monster Jam. For fans around the globe, there are still plenty of opportunities to experience Monster Jam. That's right. We'll be in Kaju, Poland later this month for the first time since 2009. In October, Monster Jam fans in Australia will have three chances to see the action. 2018 marks our sixth visit down under, and this year's lineup features 11-time world champion Tom Mentz and Max D, returning for the first time since 2014. Tom and Max D will attempt a six-truck long jump in all three cities. That's right, and Australia's own Rihanna Buchanan will be back in the Wonder Woman Monster Jam truck to take on challengers. Tickets are on sale now for Adelaide, Sydney, and Melbourne. Don't miss the return of Monster Jam to Australia. We're excited about our first visit to Oslo, Norway, October 20th through 21st. Later this year, we'll be going back to Costa Rica and make several stops in South America. And we welcome El Toro Loco driver Armando Castro, who will be competing in South America this year. Now, Armando, how excited are you for these events coming up? Estoy bien emocionado de ir a Sudamérica por la primera vez este año, ya que voy a ser el único latino representando a todos los latinos, so voy a necesitar todo el apoyo de toda la gente. It's my first time going to South America. I'm very excited for the opportunity. I will be the only Hispanic-speaking uh, driver there, so I need all support from all the fans out there. I heard they're loud, so I'm ready and excited to be, to be out there. Now, you've got a chance to send a message to your fans on the road that will be seeing you in 2019. What do you want to say? A toda mi gente, los quiero mucho, toda mi raza, quiero mirar los cuernos. Yeah, I bet how we can get out all the eventos. To all my fans out there in South America, I'm finally going out there. I'm going to show these guys how the arena guys do inside the stadium and see what we got. Best of luck on the road. Thanks, Armando. <laughs> these new stops in 2018 continue the growth of Monster Jam around the world. We will have already been to five continents and hope to bring Monster Jam to more fans around the globe in 2019 and the years ahead. That's right. Wherever you are in the world, Monster Jam is coming your way. Follow us on social media and keep up to date with the latest news at MonsterJam.com. Thousands of Monster Jam fans have gotten free tickets to our shows thanks to America's Best Contacts and Eyeglasses. Simply visit a participating America's Best Contacts and Eyeglasses near you where you can get two pairs of glasses and a free eye exam for just $69.95. That's a qualified purchase that gets you a voucher for a ticket to a Monster Jam event. 
Make sure to check out the Monster Jam Kids Frames featuring Grave Digger, El Toro Loco, Max D, Pirate's Curse, and Monster Mutt Dalmatian only at America's Best Contacts and Eyeglasses. Look for a special trick-or-treat promotion at participating McDonald's on October 16th and October 29th where you can win prizes like designing a die-cast truck, driving experiences, and attending next year's season kickoff show. There are plenty of exciting ways to experience Monster Jam all year long. In January, Monster Jam and Spin Master will launch an entire line of toys including die-cast trucks, play sets with kinetic dirt, RC vehicles, and a whole lot more. These items will be available at major retailers. The 24-volt Grave Digger Ride-On was one of the most popular toys at Walmart this past holiday season. Walmart will also soon offer 6-volt and 12-volt Grave Digger Ride-Ons and a new Grave Digger Wagon. Sounds like the perfect way to start off your holiday gift list. That's right. THQ Nordic developer Rainbow Studios, creators of the off-road racing franchise MX vs. ATV, has been tapped to develop new video games based on the Monster Jam racing and freestyle experience. The new game will be coming out in 2019. Now, one of my favorite parts of the annual season kickoff is hearing about the great new trucks. I think we've kept you in suspense long enough about Team Fire and Ice. Definitely. Some existing Monster Jam trucks will be getting a new design in 2019. It's about time to show you all of the fire and ice trucks you'll be seeing on the track and on shelves in the coming year. Team Fire will include these trucks, starting us off and bringing the heat. It is Fire Max D. <laughs> Next up, looking more alive than ever, it's the one and only Fire Zombie. And last but not least, wrapping up Team Fire, it's the Red Hot Megalodon. And taking a look at Team Ice, breaking the ice, it'll be Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian. As you can see, a slick new design for Ice El Toro Loco. And finally, keeping it cool, it'll be Ice Dragon. In a few minutes, we'll find out the drivers and where these trucks will appear. The battle will take place on the track, but Monster Jam fans will definitely want to take sides. Are you going to be a supporter of Team Fire or Team Ice this year? Choose your spot now and root for your team in 2019. Monster Jam University is continuing to play a large role in the development of athletes who aspire to compete. Each year, hopeful candidates join 11-time world champion Tom Mentz and his team of instructors to take the next step in their quest to join Monster Jam. The graduates of Monster Jam University is a who's who of stars who have provided exciting highlights in past seasons. Some of these have already won championships in triple threat series competition and more. Future champions will capitalize on the knowledge gained, adding experience to a successful winning formula. Hi, I'm Tom Mintz, the professor of Monster Jam University. We've had an extremely busy summer season training for 2018. Getting our athletes ready for the 2019 Monster Jam season. We have an amazing group of new athletes coming out of 2018 Monster Jam University training sessions. When they get on the track, they're gonna prove to you they have a lot of athletic ability. They come from other realms of motorsports, non-motorsports. To witness their progression here has been awesome. I can't wait to witness it when they get on the track. In 2019, Monster Jam fans, we're coming for you. The road to becoming a successful driver athlete requires a great amount of effort as candidates train hard to work their way onto a Monster Jam tour. Hey Monster Jam fans, my name is Justin Hicks. I'm from Rochester, New York. My background consists of freestyle motocross and I was a stunt rider for Marvel Universe Live. The training here at Monster Jam University has been very demanding. The transition from two wheels to four wheels has not been easy whatsoever. With the help from Tom Mentz and his crew, they make the transition a little bit better, but it's a huge learning curve and I still have a long ways to go. My goals here at Monster Jam University are to earn a seat in a Monster Jam truck, hopefully earn a full-time spot as a Monster Jam driver so I can entertain the fans all over the world. 
We're getting closer to finding out who's going to be a part of the 2019 Monster Jam season. In a few minutes, you'll hear from the Monster Jam drivers themselves. Now remember, tickets went on sale this morning for our preferred customers using their special discount codes. Sign up at monsterjam.com and get the best seats available. The road to Monster Jam World Finals 20 will start in early January and continues for several months. Many of our tour competitions will have at least 10 weekends on the schedule and points will be tallied through the month of April. With the Monster Jam World Finals happening in May, there will be more opportunities for championship battles. Once again, each tour champion will receive an automatic bid to Monster Jam World Finals in Orlando. This year, however, drivers will have a better chance to excel at more places with a longer season. The point structure will remain the same as 2018. Stadium competitions will feature racing, two-wheel skills, and freestyle, with 14 points awarded to the winner of each competition. At the end of the night, an event champion will be crowned. In our arena competitions, the winner will, winners will get eight points on their way to an event championship. Triple Threat Series action will again feature athletes in six competitions on three different types of vehicles. Our Arena Championship Series will see Monster Jam drivers team up with ATV riders to seek the event championship. Now, we'll show you the schedule soon, and I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's exciting. In fact, why don't we just start it right now? The Monster Jam Triple Threat Series provided down-to-the-wire thrills in the quest for championships earlier this year. These athletes selected to be part of this challenging series have to bring their best effort forward every time they're on the track. For those who are new to Monster Jam, the Triple Threat Series requires the athlete participants to drive three different vehicles, a Monster Jam truck, a Speedster, and an ATV. Points are awarded in each competition, and at the end of each show, an event champion is crowned. The series champions will once again earn a spot in the Monster Jam World Finals. This year, there are additional opportunities for Triple Threat Series athletes to earn a spot in Monster Jam World Finals 20 in Orlando, May 10th through 11th. Triple Threat Series West will start off in Salt Lake City before hitting Fresno, Sacramento, Portland, and Tacoma. The series will then visit Oklahoma City for the first time and return to Wichita for the first appearance since 2015. There will be some new athletes on this tour. That's right, two-time Triple Threat Series champion Tyler Menninga leads the way, but he'll be competing with many familiar faces as five of these athletes were on the same tour last year. Colton Neichelberger, son of 11-time World Finals champion Tom Mentz, will be back in Max D, and Colette Davis and Wonder Woman join the group for 2019. El Toro Loco's Kayla Blood and Zombies' Bari Musauer will face the challenge for this tour in 2019. Now, Bari, like we'd said, you're going to have many of the same athletes on this tour that you'll be competing against. With that being said, do you think that understanding how they approach the event, what their strengths and what their weaknesses are, will kind of give you a leg up on the competition for 2019? I sure hope so, because the, the level of competition that's on this tour is just immense. I mean, we've got some of the greatest Monster Jam triple threat athletes, I believe, on the West Tour. And I've, I'm looking forward to going out there because anybody could win at any given moment. Uh, so many people have improved even since I've started. So I'm really looking forward to it because, you know, Monster Jam World Finals is the ultimate goal. And it's right in my backyard, Orlando, Florida. So you best believe I'm going to put my best, my best zombie arm forward to get there. That's right, Bari. And speaking of World Finals in Orlando, Kayla, a lot more opportunities to grab a spot at World Finals like we'll learn a little bit later. Not only can you qualify in your Monster Jam truck, but now you have opportunities to qualify in the Speedsters and on the ATV. So does that change your approach on a nightly basis? Or what do you look forward to most about maybe grabbing a spot in World Finals? Absolutely. You know what? Monster Jam bringing in the element of the Triple Threat Series and us being able to race in the ATVs is absolutely awesome. It gives us an extra, an extra time or, you know, spot to earn that into the World Finals. And, uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm pumped up for 2019. And we are excited, too. Thank you, Kayla, and thank you, Bard. Best of luck. <laughs> Triple Threat Series Central opens up in Nashville before going to Kansas City and the brand new Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee. It'll then make its way through Newark, Charleston, and Pittsburgh. The state of Ohio gets three stops, including Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Columbus, where the series champion may be crowned on the road to Monster Jam World Finals 20. Second year driver Brandon Vinson will hope to improve on a runner-up finish from 2018. 
The competition will get a little tougher with the return of a former Double Down Showdown champion now back in triple threat, triple, triple threat competition. That's right, and that champion is none other than Cody Socie, driver of Monster Energy, who was joined by El Toro Loco's Mark List. So, Cody, you spent the last year in stadiums. You're switching back to arenas this year. You're going to go back to Triple Threat, which is where you've been before. Uh, judging from stadiums to arenas, what do you see as the biggest challenge as you approach the 2019 season? You know, my biggest challenge, jumping back on Triple Threat, man, is probably getting back on the ATV. It's something I'm not, uh, not as fancy as. The Monster Jam trucks and the Speed Stripper, you know what? I'm not afraid of it. I'm definitely not afraid of this guy. I'm not afraid of any of those rookies up there either. If they think this guy's played in the dirt before, man, you better got another thing coming because I know dirt. You don't. Mark, like he said, you're also on the Triple Threat Series Central Tour. Now, you are a Triple Threat Series original athlete. You've been with this series then since the beginning. You know each competition inside and out. With that being said, what is your secret to success in 2019? I mean, definitely, I'm excited to have Cody coming back with us. So, you know what, Cody? It's going to be interesting here. We're going to definitely kick it out there, give you guys the best show. But 2019 is going to be exciting. There's a lot of new things coming up. So I cannot wait to start this 2019 season. We can't wait to see you both attack the competition. And best of luck in 2019. Triple Threat Series East gets underway in Birmingham, Alabama, and begins a march north through the Carolinas, including Charlotte, Greensboro and Greenville. Stops in Uniondale, Providence, and Worcester off of the Triple Threat Series to New England and the Eastern Seaboard. The points chase will end in Baltimore, where we'll see who qualifies for World Finals competition. Triple Threat Series champion Tristan England and Earthshaker will seek back-to-back -back titles with some tough competition. Blake Granger finds a permanent home in Max D, and here's where you'll see Armando Castro in El Toro Loco as he looks to become a factor on the road to Monster Jam World Finals. Gravedigger's Kristen Anderson and Alien Invasion's Bernard Light will be part of this tour. Now, Bernard, you're an Orlando local. This is an exciting year for Monster Jam, moving World Finals to Orlando. Tell us how excited you are that this World Finals will be held basically in your backyard. It's crazy hard for me to even start to explain how excited I am that the big show, World Finals, is going to be in Orlando. <laughs> From the change in the track to all of the new events that we're going to go through, like, it's anyone's game this year. That's right, Bernard. And keeping the focus on the East Coast, Kristen, you've got to be excited because a lot of these tours, as we look at that, uh, tr the schedule coming up for you guys, are close to home. How excited are you to bring the Gravedigger brand to the hometown fans? I'm very excited. You know, me and Gravedigger were both raised in North Carolina, and I'm just ready to get bad to the bone in my home state this year. That's right. She's looking forward to that. Hey, speaking of the Carolinas, we would be remiss if we didn't take a moment to recognize all of those on the East Coast that are impacted by the effects of Hurricane Florence. Our support, our thoughts, and our love to all who have been affected. Kristen, this hits pretty close to home for you. Uh, anything you'd like to add there? Yeah, I know that there's a, you know, there's a lot of flooding and everything going on back home, but North Carolina, they grow and raise a lot of really tough people, and I know they're going to bounce back Carolina strong. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Bernard. Best of luck. Monster Jam athletes are required to perform their best for each and every competition if they want to become a champion. They use their training and skill to earn top scores. Tristan England, the driver of Earthshaker, is among the leaders in setting the bar high for performance. Tristan, walk us through what you're thinking when you see, when you're performing tricks like this. When we see this as an audience member, this is just incredible. You know, what's going through my head is that there's so many factors in play when you're going to do a trick like this. And I've watched guys do it all season long. And you got the dirt, you got uh, mechanical things that are going on in the truck. Oil pressure is a factor as well. And it's just a lot of things that you got to be sure that you got your mindset on right. Maybe you can break this down for us. In the video, you can see that your right hand is shifting quite a bit during this trick. Now, can you talk to us about maybe how much you would shift during this or even why you would have to do it at all? It's all about concentration and balance, but you, you just can't be afraid. You gotta be calm. You can't be afraid to roll that truck over, so you gotta push your limit. And I'm shifting back and forth to reverse first, brake gas, whatever I gotta do to stay up on the news as long as I can. Now, watching this, this is incredible. As an athlete, how do you find the next big trick? How do you keep progressing the sport? You know, I watch these guys, like innovators of the sport, like Adam, Ryan, you know, Tyler. He, he, he's progressing tremendously in arenas. And uh, I've been watching these guys all year, and I'm, 
I got some tricks that are coming out of the bag for 2019, but I'm not going to let them out right now. Tristan, thank you so much for the insight. We can't wait to see what you bring to the table in 2019. The Arena Championship Series will offer top Monster Jam truck competition combined with team riders who score points in ATV action. This series goes across the country, going from east to west, from New York to Nevada. It will send a representative to Monster Jam World Finals 20, but who will it be? This tour will be led by former series champion Randy Brown in Gravedigger. It's a lineup where family is a key consideration. You have the father-daughter team of Darren and Kaylin Miguez, and stinger Zane Ratu will be joined by his wife, Lindsay, in Pretty Wicked. I'm Zane Ratu, driver of the Stinger Unleashed Monster Jam Truck. I'm going into my sixth year driving for Monster Jam on the Monster Jam circuit. Every single year we've been out here, I've had to raise my bar and raise the bar that I expect out of myself just because of the level of talent I'm running against. We're coming for you. Producing a Monster Jam stadium show is a massive undertaking that requires plenty of behind-the-scenes work. These stadiums also host sporting events and concerts, so Monster Jam track construction crews are sure to take good care of the property. The, the demands of each stadium can differ as far as how much dirt is needed, but what doesn't change is that the tracks are built to exacting specifications to provide a fair course for all of our competitors, while also challenging them to perform their best. Let's bring in Ryan Anderson, who can tell us how challenging these, track, these tracks can be. Now, Ryan, these track maps are completely different this year than they were last year, so maybe you can walk us through some of the new things that we can expect in the coming season. Absolutely. One of the most exciting things to me is the added jump in the racing course. There's nothing like throwing a technical hook into a Monster Jam racing course. So I am super excited about that. But everything on that track just looks so appealing to me. I go around and look at every single track every single time, even though it's specifically done the same for us. I still want to get in the zone with that dirt, and I want to know every nook and cranny of that track so I can put on the best show possible. You are our reigning World Finals freestyle champion. When you see the new track maps and you see the new things that they're doing out there, what gets you excited? It, everything gets me excited. It's Monster Jam. My son loves this. My son Race watches me every weekend I go. And for me to be able to go out there and put on a show for you guys, that's all that I care about. The points are great. Trophies are awesome. But if I do my job, each and every single one of you guys are on your feet, out of that seat that you paid for, and you're having a blast. And when you leave Monster Jam, I want you to remember how good of a time you had. Ryan, you are constantly pushing the boundaries in Monster Jam. We can't wait to see what you bring to the table in 2019. Thank you for being here. Monster Jam Stadium events will feature 14 trucks, and each truck will compete in racing, two-wheel skills, and freestyle. Our first tour will start off in Anaheim, where sellout crowds are common, so be sure to get your tickets today. After a stop in San Diego, the action then moves east for shows in Indianapolis and Detroit. The tour will add a March stop at Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas, and will be awarding championship points in Santa Clara this year. The lineup features five world champions, some of which include Son of a Digger's Ryan Anderson, our reigning World Finals freestyle champion, and 2016 World Finals racing champion Morgan Kane in Grave Digger. Tom Mentz will have the Fire Max D, while Cynthia Gautier will have the Ice Monster Mutt Dalmatian. This tour will also include Justin Sipes and Megalodon, a two-time triple, triple Threat Series champion. That's right, and one of the top drivers to watch is the aforementioned Cynthia Gautier. We welcome her in now. Cynthia, taking a look at the schedule ahead, you've spent most of your career in arenas. This year, you're going to switch over into stadiums. So how, if at all, does that change your driving approach? You know what, it was such a pleasure to do all the triple threat, you know, that Monster Jam family and everything. But last year I had that little tease of doing some stadium, you know, going big, going fast, faster. So, I mean, I'm so excited to do a full schedule. There's a big competition, so it's going to be hard, but I'm ready to be there, show what I can, and represent all the lady out there. <laughs> That's right, and I know they are excited to see you on tour. Now, speaking of the fans, you are, part, you are one of three athletes that have been selected as a part of Team ICE representing in 2019. How excited are you about that? I think that Monster Jam truck looks so good in blue. I'm excited. I mean, it's going to be awesome. 
three truck against those trucks. So, ooh. And you know what? I'm from Canada, so I know how to deal with coal. So. <laughs> There you go. No doubt. We look forward to seeing that puppy on the road in 2019. Cynthia Gautier and Monster Mutt Rottweiler. This next tour takes us from the southeast through Tampa and Orlando before heading to the west coast with a couple of stops in Oakland and Seattle. Texas also received shows with stops in Houston and El Paso before venturing east to include a championship event in Syracuse. The popular Bro Dozer will mix it up in this competition, and you'll also see five-time World Finals champion Adam Anderson in Grave Tigger, and the defending series champion Neil Elliott will represent Max D. Team Fire will be represented by Travis Mowry in Zombie, and Team Ice will have Scott Buteau in El Toro Loco. A long-standing championship rivalry will be renewed in 2019 on this tour. It was a close race last year with only nine points separating Neil Elliott in first and Adam Anderson in second. Now, Adam, moving into the 2019 season, tell us, is revenge on your mind? It has been on my mind since that day. <laughs> I was ahead of those guys by so far, and I wrecked really bad, and it took myself out of the race, man. But you know what? I'm excited for 2019 to get on the track to compete not only against Neil Elliott and hopefully beat him. I hope you're watching, Neil, because you're going <laughs> down. But all the other competitors out there, we got a great lineup for 2019. I can't wait to run around to all these new cities that I haven't been to in a while. I'm super excited. Today's the first day that we're seeing the full lineup for 2019. What are your first impressions? You know, it's unbelievable, man, to, uh, to look at it. And not only I'm excited for the other tours, and not, not only mine, but I watch this stuff too. You know, when the night's over, I get on there to see what my brother do. You know, hopefully he beat everybody because if he didn't, he's in trouble. But I want to do the same thing, man. they got all these great competitors out here, and year after year with Monster Jam University behind these people, man, they are pushing us to the limits. But guess what? Old Gravedigger's going to push it above and beyond. We are so excited to see you attack the track in 2019. Thank you for being here with us, Adam. Our final stadium championship tour will kick off doing the Texas Two Day in San Antonio before heading west for stops in San Diego and Anaheim. Then it's back to Texas for another stop in Houston before heading into the southeast for shows in Miami, Jacksonville, and Atlanta, and ending in New Orleans in late March. There are three world champions looking for their chance to return to Monster Jam World Finals. Gravedigger's Charlie Pockin, Monster Energy's Todd LaDuke, and Overkill Evolution's Mike Vodders II will all look to capture the series crown this season. John Zimmer turns down the heat with Ice Dragon, and on the other hand, it'll be the Red Hot Megalodon bringing in the heat for Team Fire. That's right. Brianna Mahan returns with the popular Whiplash Monster Jam truck. And Brianna, it looks like you're going to be going back to San Diego where that was pretty special for you last year. Yeah, you know, San Diego holds a special place in my heart. I brought home my very first stadium freestyle win there. And so we had this huge backflip, and it was just a great way to start out the season. And uh, I'm super excited to get back there this year and hopefully bring home another one. Now, as we've seen tonight, the Monster Jam season kickoff show is all about surprises. And last year is where we actually unveiled your whiplash truck. Tell us, what was the response from fans and what are you looking forward to in 2019? The response was huge from all over the map. Every man, woman, child, everybody loved this truck. They loved the turquoise. They loved what we represented. And to be able to, you know, touch a different demographic than your traditional motorsports, uh, you know, that we have here. So it, it just... It's awesome to see the response and how everybody loves it and to have totally female merchandise, rhinestones, western style, hats, everything. It's, it's been an awesome experience. Well, we can't wait to see the turquoise and brown hit the track again. Brianna Mahan in Whiplash. Thank you. <laughs> Keep checking MonsterJam.com throughout 2019 as we'll be adding more stadium events to the schedule in the future. And now our most prestigious event will be held right here at Camping World Stadium in 2019. We just made the announcement that World Finals 20 is coming here next year, and I can't be more excited. It is going to be the biggest, baddest World Finals we've ever had. The thing I'm most excited about is the elevated starting lines. All the people in Florida, they love big trucks, they love Monster Jam, and they love to have a good time. Families can get together, have a good time, share these experiences that will last a lifetime. Yeah. 
Two weeks ago, we pulled the cover off the plans for Monster Jam World Finals 20, and we're excited to be heading to Camping World Stadium in Orlando, May 10th through 11th. It's a new era for Monster Jam World Finals with new competitions in a new location. We'll have more action and more champions. And speaking of champions, let's welcome in our defending champions, Adam Anderson and Ryan Anderson. Ryan, I think we're all dying to know, how do you feel about defending your world, your world finals freestyle championship in Orlando? I can't wait. Florida has always been one of my favorite places to go. They live and breathe Monster Jam in that state. So for us to bring the biggest event we ever have into Florida, I think it's going to be insane. Honestly, I cannot wait, and I'm going to be going after it. I'm going to prove to all you guys down here in Florida, they watched me grow up through the mud, all that good stuff, that I'm crazy. I'm the madman behind the wheel, and I want that championship to stay in my pocket. A lot of exciting things ahead in Orlando. And Adam, as the defending racing champion, you're going to have your work cut out for you. As we take a look at this visual, describe this unique racing track. You know, it's pretty unbelievable. Like we said before, I, I'm so excited about the elevated starting line. But going down this track, you know, the chicane was a big part of what Las Vegas, the world finals was. Well, they've thrown a chicane in here. It's the opposite direction. So it's totally different than it's ever been. But I think it's going to be bigger, faster, and badder than it ever has been. Absolutely. And speaking of that chicane coming right off the elevated start line, does that maybe jump out to you as one of the challenges that could be posed for the racing? The only challenge I have is the excitement of starting above the fans. I get to look down on you for once, and then I'll be down in the bottom. I'm super excited about it. I don't think, hopefully it is a challenge for some, but I cannot wait. As we give the fans a cool in-the-truck perspective of what we might see in World Finals next May, who do you see out there as your biggest competition? Is there any chance that it's this guy standing to your left? You know, it's really hard to see who the competition is when they're all behind you. I think that's maybe a mic drop moment. Hey, Adam, Ryan, thank you, and best of luck in 2019. Monster Jam World Finals 20 will provide more action than ever before. Friday and Saturday pit parties will give you plenty of chances to meet the drivers and get their autographs, but there's so much more in Orlando. The first championship competitions actually happen in the pit party, so make sure you get there early enough to catch all of the exciting action. On Friday, you'll see the first round of competition in Speedster Racing, ATV Racing, and Speedster Obstacle Course as the eight individual competitors for each competition set the stage for Saturday's championship round in each event. The action moves into Camping World Stadium as the Showdown Racing pits eight of our newest Monster Jam drivers in a battle for the final spot in racing and in freestyle. And then for the first time ever, the Two Wheel Skills Championship will be presented as a part of Monster Jam World Finals. A field of eight will get two rounds to get the highest finishes and earn the honor of being crowned a champion. The night is capped off by World Finals Championship Racing as only one will emerge from the 24 truck field to claim the title. On Saturday, the action again starts with the final round of Speedster Racing, ATV Racing, and the Speedster Obstacle Course. Friday results will be combined with Saturday's finishes to determine an overall world champion in each of these events. The night's action will open with another new competition, World Finals, and it's big as in big air. The high jump competition gives drivers two chances to reach great heights to crown our sixth world finals champion. The night concludes with 24 trucks in freestyle action and the final world championship crowned. We'd like to welcome in now Mr. Jason Siegel, Chief Executive Officer of the Central Florida Sports Commission. Jason, we're all excited to be coming to Camping World Stadium. This is unbelievable today. What a great crowd here and we're so excited to have all of you in Orlando coming up here uh, very shortly. Uh, I was talking to Bari just now, and uh, an Orlando guy. We have our kids here tonight, and he's promised them a ride home to Orlando tonight in Zombie. So we're super excited, and uh, even more so, what an incredible opportunity for Orlando to host this event, a reimagined, reconstructed uh, Camping World Stadium. Uh, support from uh, our mayors, uh, Mayor Jacobs, Mayor Dyer, our county, our city folks, uh, the, the great people at our venues that are going to help put this together, fill that building with dirt, and uh, what an unbelievable spectacle it's going to be. So we're incredibly excited. Feld Family stands for family. Our family will be there. We know there'll be tons of families and kids there to enjoy that opportunity. Uh, we're looking forward to getting tickets on sale, getting everybody excited for not just 2019, but 
2020. Who knows, maybe we drop the trucks out of the sky in 2020, but we're really excited for the opportunity to come to Orlando. And we know Monster Jam is very excited to come. Now we talk about the extensive pit party, the added competitions, the elevated start lines. It's a lot of new things coming this year. Has Orlando, has Camping World Stadium seen an event like this? You know what, we're so excited for this. This is just gonna, we're gonna blow the doors off with this opportunity. And fans are gonna have a great opportunity. When they come to Orlando, it's all the action that's happening in Camping World. Certainly the best that we have to offer with our theme parks and hotels. Uh, Orlando, we know how to host and you're gonna have a positive experience. You're gonna have a great time. Come spend a week with us. Uh, do it all, be there for the activities uh, at Camping World Stadium and for Monster Jam and seeing these world-class athletes performing. But uh, we hope you'll stay for uh, just a lot longer and, and bring your families and vacation with us as well. We cannot wait for Monster Jam to come to Orlando. Jason, thank you very yeah, much. Pleasure. We appreciate it. Yep, thank you. Tickets will go on sale soon, but you must be a Ticketmaster verified fan to take advantage of the pre-sale offers. Details can be found at MonsterJam.com. This will be one world finals you won't want to miss. That's right. Monster Jam has long been committed to providing the best opportunities to allow guests to get close to the competitors to provide the best possible experience whenever they attend a show. There are several ways that fans can get a more enjoyable experience at Monster Jam. One of the best ways is the Monster Jam Pit Party. It's your place to meet the drivers, get autographs and photos, and start your experience in a great way. Fans of all ages love the pit party, so be sure to get there early. Now, if you are coming to a Monster Jam Stadium event on a Saturday, we encourage you to look into the Early Access Pit Pass. You'll get an extra hour to enjoy the pit party before the rest of the fans enter the stadium. Simply choose Early Access Pit Pass when you are buying your tickets. And remember, quantities are limited. We're really excited about the VIP experiences that will be available at selected locations in 2019. This is the best way to get the most from your visit to Monster Jam, and choices may vary. Choices may also include a super fan experience. You can get down on the track with a special track pass. Maybe you'd like to send a message to the video board. Well, now you can. Take a ride in the Monster Jam ride truck where you can really feel the power of a 1,500 horsepower Monster Jam truck on the actual track that our drivers will be competing on. Then be sure to cap off your night with the Winner's Circle meet and greet. You can get more information at monsterjam.com. Our competitions have already reached millions of fans on five different continents, and millions more are awaiting their chance to see it in their native lands. Plans are well underway to take Monster Jam to some exciting new places, but we're also going back to a few where we've been before. That's right. After a hugely successful visit to Cardiff earlier this year, Monster Jam will return to the UK in 2019 with a national tour. For more information, go to monsterjam.co.uk and sign up to be the first to receive info on cities and dates for the big tour. We will also cross the channel with stops in Antwerp, Belgium in March and Gothenburg, Sweden in June. We plan to also add South Africa next year. And folks, that's big news because that's another new continent. It's always a highlight for a Monster Jam driver to get the chance to meet our global fans. Take a look at some of the drivers who will be traveling in 2019. That's right, and as that lineup comes up, one of those drivers is BJ Johnson, who actually got his first major Monster Jam victory in Australia. BJ, tell us about that memory. You know, it was great. I've been over there a couple times just as a backup driver, helping the crews out. Uh, Medusa got injured. You know, it's a, it's a rough sport that we're in, so I was there, and I filled in. Ended up winning the night, you know, so it, it's great. I'm going to go back this time in my own truck, my own identity. These people have no clue what they got themselves in store because Gas Monkey's coming and we're coming for a reason. Hey, you've seen the lineup. You've seen the schedule. So what stands out to you? What do you most look forward to? You know what? Just the travel and meeting new fans. You know, it's, um, it's a whole different experience. It's a lot of those fans don't even know what the Monster Jam trucks are. So they're going to have... Um, they're going to have a whole new thing coming. They don't even know what's coming to them right now. But we're going to make sure that they know that when Gas Monkey's there, we're going to remember it when they leave at night. And we know you'll represent Gas Monkey well. BJ, thanks for joining us. Tickets are on sale now for many 2019 events, but only if you're a Feld Preferred customer. Simply sign up here at MonsterJam.com, get your pre-sale code, and grab those best seats. 
Well, we've given you a look at only some of the scheduled events in 2019, but there will be more available in the near future. If you didn't see your favorite spot mentioned, sit tight. There's more to come at a later date. For those events after August 2019, your chance to purchase tickets will be coming in May 2019. Don't worry, we won't let you forget. Be sure to follow Monster Jam on Facebook and Instagram. Well, we hope you have been enjoying the exciting Monster Jam action on FS1 throughout the year. Our competitors have given the cameras plenty of great highlights. Episodes featuring Tampa, Sydney, and highlight shows are coming in the weeks ahead, so be sure to check those local listings. Now we have one more bit of exciting news that we want to share with the Monster Jam fans that you can go make plans to be a part of this groundbreaking event. Coming up on October 11th through 12th, 2019, the first Monster Jam All-Star Challenge will take place at Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas. That's right, Casey. This invitation-only event will bring the top competitors to one spot and offer unique challenges to test the drivers and thrill the fans. The Friday event will feature racing, utilizing the distinct Thunder Alley course while the trucks start outside the stadium and roar in at high speeds to the finish line. As part of the opening night's action, fans will be called upon to judge the best trick, which will include amazing two-wheel, flip and big air stunts that will take the wow factor to the next level. And then the Saturday finale will offer a second round of racing with a track layout that has never been seen before. To top it all off, Monster Jam drivers will take on a challenging freestyle course. Two teams comprised of 2019 competitors will be selected. The fans will choose many of the competitors by their all-star votes throughout the year. At the end of the competition, there will be a winning team and an overall winner. That's right, and with the team captains choosing their teams and lineups, there could be a lot of matchups never seen before in 2019. There are so many different strategies that will come into play to make it exciting, and this one-of-a-kind event will provide Monster Jam with a second premier competition in 2019. Tickets will go on sale soon, and be sure to watch for more details at MonsterJam.com. Remember, get your tickets now for these exciting shows. Become a preferred customer and get your special pre-sale code so you can get your seats to Monster Jam. Well, we would like to thank the staff here at Feld Entertainment Studios for allowing us to come to you live from where Monster Jam trucks are built and prepared for action. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the memorable moments of 2018. We've enjoyed bringing you the latest news and information about the exciting season ahead. I'm Casey G. And I'm Mitchell Reigns. We'd like to thank you again. And remember, this is Monster Jam. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>